Hey guys, this is our goals and habits overview, okay? So it's all about starting to identify some cues, all right, and urges. So what uh, is the urge that we're feeling to create this change over the next three weeks and how are we feeling currently about making those changes? We find it's really important to have two frames of mind. We want to visualize ourselves at the end of the three weeks and who we are going to be in a positive light and also uh, in a negative light. If we don't stick to the program, if we don't uh, eat uh, consistently, if we don't train regularly, um, if we let everything slip, uh, who are we going to be at the end of the th three weeks? Now, this is going to enable you to move towards one of those things. Most people, and I'm hoping it's you, will want to move towards that positive view of yourself at the end of the three weeks, okay? So, uh, what I want you to do is, before our first accountability session, write three things that will be good for you to move towards this positive version of yourself. Three habits or three goals that you can start to implement that you think will move you towards the negative, but also write down three negative things, three things that you want to avoid doing to not move towards that negative version of yourself at the end of the three weeks. It's our goal as trainers to get you towards that positive version of yourself, so let's write those down and bring them to our first accountability session. So when we're talking about good and bad habits, it's important that we diagnose the reward for these habits. So what I, what I mean by that is what are we satisfying with this behavior, whether it's good or bad. So once we identify the reward for our behaviors, we can make changes and replace these behaviors with other things that are gonna be healthier and more serving of our goals. So what I want you to do is go through and look at all your old habits and list the pros and cons of all those habits. So whether it's uh, snacking or eating too much of a certain type of food, we're gonna write down the pros of that habit and the cons. Once we're done with that, we're gonna do the same with our new habits. So all our new habits and goals that you've set for yourself, I want you to go through and again, list all the pros of those habits. So maybe your new goal is to go for a run every morning. So you'll list all the pros of going for a run every morning, as well as all of the cons. The most important thing is to write these down, either in your phone or physically. We find writing these down physically is a really good way to ingrain these new habits and also the things that you don't want to be doing over the next three weeks. You want to have this visual every day. Hopefully, before uh, you start your day, as you wake up in the morning, you can see these goals and have them start to implement straight away in your mind, okay? Setting alarms in your phone is a great way as well to stick to your goals, okay? If you have a usual time of day where you know you're snacking a lot, set an alarm just before that time and say, don't reach for this particular food. This will really help start to ingrain some of these goals. It's our job over the next three weeks to sit down with you in these accountability sessions and work through the things that you've started to write down. Your goals to move towards this positive version of yourself and the goals to move you away from the negative version of yourself. Also writing down our current habits that we don't see as too great Write down the pros and cons, as Joey said. There may be some psychological pros to some of the things you're doing, but they may not be actually as beneficial as you think. Let's move towards your goals together over the next three weeks.